I've looked at the polls. It's neck and neck. Okay. There were four candidates, three Republicans and one Democrat. My understanding is one of the Republicans dropped out. So it's you, Lisa Murkowski, and a Democrat that I believe got 6%. Is that correct? That's absolutely correct, Sean, and you summarized the race perfectly. Okay. So let's go through the rank voting system because I believe, unfortunately, I, I mean, I have to study this to, to get it straight myself. The people of Alaska have to take their first and second selection really seriously, don't they? Yes, they do. So this is the Murkowski voting system. You're correct in your instinct that it was her allies and campaign staff who put this system in place because she did not have any chance of keeping her Senate seat under a typical election model. All parties have to run against each other in the primary. The four top candidates, regardless of party, move forward. She would have lost her seat in a party primary. She's been censured by the Republican Party and removed from membership. I am the endorsed candidate. They actually did that before I ever entered the race. That's how badly she's known as a Democrat in Alaska. So now you're correct. It's so me the, and Murkowski. So Most of the Democrats this. are lining up behind her. It looks, as of now, the polls I've seen show that you and Lisa Murkowski are basically tied. And you have a Democrat that will draw maybe 6% of the vote. Now, okay, so that person will be out of the race. Then it will be second choice voting. If they're voting for a Democrat and the choice is you as a conservative or liberal Lisa Murkowski, the Democrats will then tip the balance of power in Alaska and vote for Lisa Murkowski. And that gives her the advantage. Am I wrong in that analysis? No, you're correct. That's when the race becomes a tiebreaker 50-50. So on round one, I'm leading her by nine points or double digits. It's in round two when those Democrat votes roll up, the second place votes, that it becomes a nail biter, close to 50-50. It'll depend on voter turnout. But our team has been knocking thousands of doors. I myself have knocked thousands across the state. We just hit 23 communities and get out the vote rallies, my husband and I, the last two weeks. I'm confident that we're doing the groundwork here in a grassroots movement to get out the vote. And in Alaska, 2,300 votes is 1 percent. So it does not take much to tip the scales. So I would say to every Republican in the state of Alaska that this system is flawed. This system is fundamentally unfair. And if, in fact, you don't get 50 percent in the first round of voting, which I urge people to vote for you at first in the first round. Uh, if you don't, then likely Democrats will then flip to the Biden supporting Murkowski and work her way back into the Senate with Mitch McConnell's money. And they've got a little quid pro quo going because she's going to promise Mitch McConnell she'll vote for him for leader, uh, but then she'll vote with Biden 67 percent of the time. That is that is a disgrace for the people of Alaska. Yeah, she wears the jersey of the establishment. We know that she's polling for Pelosi in our House race. We've got four candidates she's backing and campaigning with the one who's going to choose Nancy Pelosi as our Speaker of the House. That's not good for Alaska. She wears the jersey of Biden and Pelosi and McConnell. They flooded our state with millions of dollars in dark money, more than both Murkowski and I have spent combined in our respective campaigns. When McConnell announced he was going to do this, she said, Mitch, you've always been there for me. I'll be there for you. We want to make this into an ad to let Alaskans know so you can donate online at kellyforak.com because you're absolutely right, Sean. She's not standing up for Alaskans. She's standing up for the establishment. No. This is what the word swamp was created for. Career politicians like Lisa Murkowski who care more about themselves than they do about their constituents. This is the most corrupt system in the country right now, and she's not even supporting Sarah Palin, who's on the ballot in the congressional race. Um, my advice, if you're in Alaska, I hope they vote for you, Kelly Chewbacca. And what Mitch McConnell and Lisa Murkowski are doing is nothing short of disgusting swamp, sewer-style tactics, and it's pretty disgraceful. Uh, thank you. We're wishing you a lot of luck in seven days, one week from tonight. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.